Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to update your Windows 11 to version 24H2 because of this error that is 0x807001F. So if you are receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So first of all, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration over here. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all and then hit apply click on ok and then you will see restart option restart your computer and then you can try to update your windows 11 and you should not receive this error but still you are receiving this error then update your bios so go to your system manufacturer website so if you are dell computer go to dell if you have lenovo go to lenovo so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number find the latest bios update and then install the bios make sure in case of laptop battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer during the bios update and after the bios update log into the computer and then try to update your windows 11. still not working then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video now the first step is to start app readiness service now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services now over here you can see app readiness make a double click on app readiness set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now you can update still not updating the next step is to move win re agent folder to different locations so you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now if you see win re agent folder over here you can just copy this file to desktop to create a backup now if you don't see this folder click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items you should be able to see win re agent folder but still if you don't have this folder you can skip this step and then follow the next step but if you have this folder you can create a backup first so you can copy this folder you can put it to the desktop maybe now once you have a backup over here now you can delete this folder now once you delete this folder now open windows settings go to windows update and then click on check for update or install the update over here if the update is installed successfully then restart your computer and if the update is installed successfully in that case once the update is successful you can just you can copy this folder or you can cut this folder and you can put it back to the c drive once the update is complete now still not updating the next step is to run update troubleshooter now for this open windows settings go to system and then go to troubleshoot now over here you can see other troubleshooter click on it now you will see windows update click on run and let the process complete once the troubleshooter the tr troubleshoot is complete you can update your windows 11 restart your computer and then update your windows 11 next step is to restart windows update and background intelligent transfer services now for this again type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find windows update in the list scroll down and here you can see windows update make a double click on windows update set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok with windows update selected over here you can just make a right click on windows update and then click on restart or start now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok make a right click on it and then click on restart now you can update your windows 11 and then check now still not working the next step is to use windows 11 installation assistant now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see windows 11 installation assistant so click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow and then if there is any update in my case it's already up to date but if you see update option or install opt install option install it and then restart your computer now the next step is to reset windows update components now for this copy all these commands these commands are provided in the video description so copy till here 
and then open notepad on your computer so type in notepad in windows search box open notepad paste all the entry over here then go to file now click on save as name this file as wufix.bat and then for save as type select all files and you can set the location to desktop now go now once saved now go to desktop make a right click on wufix file and then click on run as administrator make sure that you run this file as an administrator click on yes to allow and let the process complete now this process will take some time because it has multiple commands first of all it will start stop all the windows update services and then it will run some scans now there are multiple scans so the scan will take some time once the scan is complete it will restart all the windows update services and once this is done you can restart your computer and after the system restart you can update your windows 11 and then check now still not working then in that case use media creation tool to update your windows 11 so you can copy this link the link is provided in the video description go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to update your windows to version 24h2 and you should not receive this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.